Check this out, YouTube. I'm telling you right now, you think your boat is protected when it's under a dock. No. I got water. Look at that. Major rainstorm today. So that's what we're gonna be fishing after. Major, major rain. I'm talking, I don't know, a lot of rain. But it's a beautiful night and everybody's gone because of all that rain. So we have the lake to ourselves. It's an evening, it's cool actually. I would, I would gather to say it's about 70 degrees right now. And uh, I don't know, it looks beautiful. It's beautiful, but my boat is flooded, flooded. Whatever, we're gonna put fish in the boat. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna put the Garmin on the boat. Yeah, here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. So what's been going on in Three Pound Fishing land? I'll tell you what, I've been incredibly busy. Um, still making my videos. But with everything that's going on, planning for 2023, you never, people don't realize how much time goes into uh, companies and products and stuff like that. And uh, I, I think people do realize how much time it takes. But either way, I spend a lot of time planning for always the next year. And so I spend a lot of time with that. But one of the things that I have truly enjoyed lately is going out in the evening by myself, no camera. And all I do is I go to a cove on my home lake and I literally will live scope the entire thing. And it doesn't mean that I'm marking every single thing. It's really just a relaxation. It's more of a, uh, you know, you're sitting back, you're relaxing, you don't care about how many fish you're catching and you're finding gems on the lake. And that's what I've been doing. And I love it, it's therapeutic. So. We're not going to probably do that tonight. <laughs> I think we're going to put fish in the boat. That's the goal. But I bet you there'll be a part of tonight that I will do that. Because I have truly enjoyed it. When the sun's setting and you're just like cruising around slow, doesn't matter if you catch a fish or not, you're just looking, trying to learn the lake even better. Um, it's, it's, it's something you should consider on your home lake for sure. So anyway, I appreciate you guys joining me. We're going to we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna put some fish on the boat. I mean, fish in the boat for sure. And I, I'll tell you this, I haven't been on the water in four days. And I'm kind of jacked just to kind of get out here and put a fish on the line. It's been a while. I've been spending a lot of time with my, my family. They're going through a transition right now with daughters moving to internships. My other daughter going to, there's just a lot of stuff going on. So. A lot of stuff going on, but it's good stuff. So let's do this, folks. All right, so there's our first pile. We're gonna see what we got going on there, folks. Um, you know, water temperature sitting there looks like about, you know, 82 degrees. Looks like there's a couple fish up in the sky. You'll notice my new sitting position. This has been the lazy mat sitting position. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this kind of position. There it goes right there. It's falling, you can see it all. Um, I'm gonna use this position when I'm searching it maybe pre-fishing and then use the uh, casting seat. There he is. That didn't take long time, folks. Good Lord. I knew it was gonna be a good night. I just knew it. No monster by any stretch, but still. You gotta like starting with a day like that. That's easy. That's easy, look at that pile. Anytime those fish are sitting on top like that, I just know they're going to be active. I, just, I feel like they're going to be active. And right now I'm just fishing with a plain old minnow. Find these at three pound fishing. These are deeper fish though, you know. There it is. Look at that. Now this is a pile. One evening I, I found just Doing what I told you I was doing, decompressing. And uh, never knew this pile existed, but it seems to be attracting fish. 
And I think there's these type of piles all over this whole entire lake, every lake for that matter. I think you find places that just seem to bring the fish in. And I don't think there has to be a short way, cut a way of finding these piles. Like I know a lot of people even, you know, go on kite trips with me wanting to find piles, but half the fun is just finding them. Um, half the fun is definitely finding them. Ooh, look at that. I overshot it. I'm going to drop right back down to it. See if I have anybody that's going to take to go after it. Nope. So anytime I get like a pile like this where it's really deep, I, I definitely consider dropping down to like a number five split shot. Everything I have right now, I use a, I use a number seven split shot. And um, so it takes a little bit longer for it to get down there. And these guys are pretty deep. Now I just fell in the honey hole. There. Oh, baby. I get a misser and then, yep, I'll do that. I'm trying to entice this guy now. I think he'll bite it. Come on, buddy. Maybe this guy, that looks like a bass. Anyway, we're gonna stop that right there. I mean, that's it. I didn't know anything about this pile until I was out just relaxing. Relaxing, relaxing. <laughs> oh. The small little piles, folks. That is a hammer right there. That is a great fish. That's a picture fish. What that is. Yeah, it's a small little pile on that pile there. This doesn't get any better than that. Gosh dang. You gotta love it. Picture time. Makes it easy when you catch a fish like that. Let me just tell you. And you can too if you come to Three Pound Fishing Guide Service. I'll tell you what you need to do. But it's time on the water. I always tell people it's always time on the water. It ends up being time on the water. <laughs> I just found another one. Again, a spot that I've never fished my entire life. But I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, this thing's got some live fish on it too. Not a ton, but they definitely Live meaning that I guarantee you they're going to be active when I throw this jig on top of them. Oh, come on, baby. Sometimes active captain does not want to be active. And right now it doesn't want to be active, folks. But I just found myself another mark. And it should be pretty close to there. And I'm fishing even with a bait that I don't typically fish with here. This is the Cajun Crazy. Which is still a great bait, but not necessarily my home lake favorite. Here he comes. There he is. Freaking monster. Good fish. I won't say monster. Okay, I use the, the term monster a little loosely there, but he's a 12 inch fish. Good fish good fish and a pile again I'm gonna mark that one two three so this pile is now marked and what did I do I just kept going up and down this shoreline now for you guys that are just doing three pound fishing there's a lot, which I understand, so I'm gonna explain something. Three pound fishing elite series rods are from Ozark rods. I don't sell them personally, Ozark rod takes care of that and they're freaking awesome. They're an awesome company. Um, there's a 10, 11, 12, 13, and a 14 in the three pound fishing elite series. So if you look for the elite series, just look for the maroon rods. That's the three pound fishing rods right there. Um, at the time of making this video here, the 10 pounds are sold out or the 10 footers. The 10 footers are sold out. But that doesn't mean all the other ones are. They're available. 
and I use the 10 and the 13s all the time. What we did different with the Ozark Rod 3 pound fishing elite series is we tightened it up starting about right here, which is about the sixth, fifth eyelet right here. What is that three by six, seven eyelet right here. So we wanted to make sure it was a little stiffer right there. A little give up on the tip, don't get me wrong. But so I'm just gonna tell you that it is the perfect jigging rod, especially the 10 foot. Now try out the 11 footer. I have 11, 12, 13, I have them all on my boat, of course, but I've tried them all out. The 10 footer seems to be my sweet spot. The 11 might be your sweet spot. It's my fishing partner, Marcus's sweet spot. He loves 11s. So you need to try them out, but I'll tell you what, they're so light, it's crazy. And if you match it up with a Fluger 20 reel, I'm just, it, it, it's unbelievably how well it's balanced. So we got that design based off of the old three, the old Ozark rod, gray rod, which you'll see me fish on occasionally from my, on my YouTube channel here today, uh, even, because I just simply, I don't throw away rods because whatever I don't have to fish with my rod every time I fish with that gray rod I have two gray rods and I have two maroon rods in my boat and the only reason is because they don't break they, they go they last forever they're light they feel fantastic now the feel is a little different obviously because we tweaked this guy but when I'm out here on my home lake I fish with whichever one it doesn't really matter when I go to tournaments it's the maroon rods all day long because I'll get They're all interested in it. And fish. You gotta love the shad color. They want it a little slower right here on this particular pile. It's interesting. They all would come to it when it was running, but they wouldn't bite it. But if you went up and straight up and down on it. They would. Baby Shad, check it out, 3.5fishing.com. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate you. Beautiful day. Decompress. Just go out and explore your lakes. It's a lot of fun, actually. It's a lot of fun. Very relaxed. So. Peace out. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.